days down in a parking lot. Hi, I am Asparagus, and I am the only person on YouTube who disagrees with Mr. Four Sam G for his Rule One offensive language and Rules of RuneScape video. In this video, I'm going to explain why I disagree with him, and I'm going to explain why his arguments are flawed. In his The Rules of RuneScape video, he is heard to say they have 15 rules, 13 of which are about in-game behaviour. God damn, how tight ass can you be? Well, if everybody on RuneScape just wants to swear up a fucking storm like you, uh, quite. I feel like I'm in school when I read these rules. It's a game, Jagex. Let us have our fun. Yeah, I'm not sure about you, but uh, going around calling random people nigger isn't my idea of fun. Yes, I know RuneScape was invented in Britain, the UK, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And I'm fully aware that their laws may be different than, should be wrong, the United States. Well, no, they're not. In fact, people from Britain probably swear more than Americans. Now. And then he talks about uh, Jagex could, uh, could add a filter control in the game. Now I agree with that, but I don't bitch about them not doing it. And then for the rest of the video he goes on to bitch about every single rule in RuneScape. Well, you know, yeah, I appreciate that the rules of RuneScape are pretty strict, but that's because people as young as 8 play the game, alright? And when last I checked, people who were 8 didn't usually like being sworn at and insulted and shit like that. So, can you really blame Jagex? Uh, no. Uh, and uh, he talks about uh, the rule Jagex staff impersonation, and he says that it goes back to password and item scanning, another patronizing rule they've added. Um, I'd just like to ask, why is it patronizing? If, say, say, if the wilderness was still here, and if you could still trade, and you were an idiot, you got a party hat, for whatever reason, you've been doing some merchanting, you got a party hat, some guy says, cool, come to the wilderness, I'll show you my party hat, and you follow him, he kills you, takes your party hat, would you not want someone to do something about it? Because, to be honest, if you had your way, then... Jagex would say something like, well, it's your own fault for getting it lost, tough shit. Uh, that would probably make me want to quit the game. And later on he explains why Jagex removed the wilderness, and uh, he's right about why they did it. It's because of gold farming and real world trading and stuff. Uh, and then he goes on to say that Jagex think that Bounty Hunter is a way of not being able to real world trade, but it still is. Then he writes on the screen, Attempt 1 for real world trading 3 pk epic failure. What would you suggest they do instead? Do you just want Jagex to take away all forms of player killing? Because I'm pretty sure even more people would quit because of that. The only part I feel that is good about the video is that he's not bitching about uh, the wilderness getting taken away, because he's obviously a pretty intelligent individual and he knows that rioting and arguing isn't going to bring it back. And then he says how he's quitting, etc, etc, because the rules of Moonscape are part too, too strict, etc, etc, etc. GTF over it. Uh, that's about all I have to say. Uh, this isn't a personal stab at 4 Sanji or anything. I'm just trying to explain why I don't agree with his argument. I'd love to have just commented this stuff on his video, but he's blocked me. There you are. <coughs> anyway, if you disagree with anything I've said in this video, please feel free to post your feedback. And by that I don't mean spam or flame me saying lol you suck for Sanji Arte Greetest. I mean, you know, literate feedback, if you please. Thank you and good night.